Welcome to another Quick Hits with TechBlock Chorus. In this example, we're going to talk about using TechBlock Chorus to explore system performance. Specifically, we chose an example, which is an Aero database development project. The idea we're looking for is ways to simplify the growing complexity in data we're all trying to evaluate. Ideally, TechBlock Chorus provides a solution as it's the union of both visualization data, management, statistics, and data mining for a set of solutions, whether they CFD or if they're test. TechBlock Chorus provides powerful analytics to evaluate surrogate models, which we'll do in detail, as well as look at ways that we can use system filters to understand and tie back system performance to underlying physics. Let's begin by opening up a project. The project we're interested in is one of the sample projects that ex exists in the TechPlot Chorus sample directory. This data actually includes several pieces of information. The independent variables are mock, alpha, and beta. The number of iterations, the lift coefficient, drag coefficient, and pitching coefficient are the derived quantities that came from the simulation. We can evaluate quickly the overall system performance by analyzing, say, lift coefficient as a function of mock and evaluating uh, mock and alpha. We can then apply a surrogate model. We can start with a simple quadratic response surface. Now this is a multi-dimensional surface. It's actually fitting alpha, beta, and mock. If we wanted to uh, move to a Krieging model, we would likely want to look at just the dimensions in question. So since beta is not being currently analyzed, we will actually remove that from our fit. And you'll notice that it will actually use the Krieging model to go through all the points in the solution. In addition to evaluating results, looking in, in X, Y, or 3D, it's often critical to evaluate the individual lift curves. So we'll go ahead and evaluate the lift curves in this system by evaluating alpha as a function of lift coefficient. We will then use Mach number as what we're going to sort against. So now you're looking at the lift curves as a function of Mach number. In a way, this is just a projection of the 3D plot we showed a moment ago. So that's one of the curves we may want to evaluate. We can uh, zoom in and understand those results in context. There is physical data behind each of the points. Uh, we'll talk about that in a subsequent uh, discussion. In addition, we want to evaluate alpha as a function of in this case, the drag coefficient. And similarly, we'll evaluate this by looking at Mach number. And uh, we'll sort these by alpha. OK. So now we have our drag coefficient, or drag curves. The last one we want to look at, of course, are the pitching moment curves as well. Again, we're trying to understand uh, the three dimensions of the data shown here, the dependent variables. And uh, so in this case, we'll again look at the alpha as a function of pitching moment. Um, we'll show these in the context of Mach number. And uh, we'll sort them by alpha. Now, there's a couple of things to point out. You'll notice that there are a couple of data points that do not, uh, for all intents and purposes, seem to fit well within what we would expect from the curve. And that might be a function of a particular mock curve. So we can walk through each mock curve. You can see we're moving now from basically uh, mock 0.1 to mock 6. So that's one way to evaluate. And we can look for curves where the data, like in the case of that flask curve, in fact, don't look like they're behaving well. Another thing we can use is the number of iterations. The number of iterations is a good way to measure convergence. In this case, you'll notice that as we go to lower and lower convergent curves, you can see that there are some data points that actually are moved from our curves, which improve the fit of the data shown here. In this example, then, we showed how you can model system performance using surrogate models. In addition, we showed how one can actually analyze the different dimensionalities of the, the system by looking at the lift, pitching moment, and drag coefficients as a series of or collection of line plots. Thanks for watching and look for our next quick video.